Hello, hello, shalo, and welcome to another episode of Nellie Ville Reviews Drag Race. We are reviewing season 16, and this is episode 10, so let's dive right on in, shall we? So this week's theme is Work the World, and this week is all about getting people to feel the patriotic movement, getting people to get up and register to vote. It's all about motivation. It is an election year, and we know that RuPaul's Drag Race and RuPaul himself Himself are very much political people. They stand behind get up, get up, get up, get out and vote. And what better way to use our platform than for, you know, to get the kids to get up and do something productive, okay? So, the darlings all had to come together and create a song. So, they had to write their own verses and their lyrics. And I have to say, the the, the song itself, which was written by um, Leland and Freddie Scott, who were the guest, you know, people for today. Um, also, Jamal Sims was here as a guest judge and helped the girls with the choreography. So, it is an original song. The song that they did was called Power. And I liked the song itself. It was um, kind of like a funk groove you know type of it was it had a really like throwback feel it was a funk song right and you know judging off the cast you know let's be honest it's very um the cast is ve that's left is very um vanilla you know there's not a whole lot of uh chocolate or latte so when they said that the song was going to be of the funk genre i was already concerned <laughs> Because, you know, for the funk, you know, you got to have a little groove. You know, you got to think Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know what I'm saying? 70s. You got to think a groove. You got to help. Help. A heavy. A heavy. You know what I'm saying? And I just didn't really see that for the girls that are left. Like, you know, most of them. You know what I mean? So I already kind of knew. Yikes. But, you know, positive vibes, right? The theme for the runway was true colors. So the girls had to pick their favorite color and create a look based off of their favorite color so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the runway looks and then as we go over the looks i'm going to talk about how i feel about the girls performance in the song now overall the performance of what they did so all the girls performed together in this song right so they all had a verse and it was you get the gigs right they did a live performance and I like the theatrics. I like the lighting. I like the stage. They completely transformed um, the main stage. You really feel like it, it gave very much concert vibes, right? Um, I, I like the choreography. It was a, it was a overall. It was a great number, and I think that Leland and Freddie Scott did a great job with the girls. We've seen Leland and Freddie before. Um, they created some hits. They, they've been. They've been great. There's a reason why our drag race keeps asking for these producers to come back and work with the girls. So with all that being said, let's get into the first look. So first up, we have Dawn. You know, this look, it's its very Dawn. This is not my style of drag, but if I like this style of drag, I will be very here for it. It's very well constructed. It looks great. I get it. It's, you know, blue, I guess is the color. Um, Her performance in the show of the song you know her verse was fine i'm gonna be honest with you no one's verse was really like <gasps> there was there weren't any verses this season that i was like okay like you know <sighs> all of them at best some of them were like really high safe but nobody really gave i think this that this genre for this group of girls i think it just wasn't right um you know, but you don't know who's going to go home. You don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not the fault of the song. It's just, I think everybody can't do every genre. You know what I mean? Don was okay. I feel like she was a little stiff. I feel like she could have gave a little more, but I understand it was probably way out of her comfort zone. Um, but, you know, the, some of the energy was there and this look is perfectly fine. Next up, we have a Maya Mon LePage. You know, I feel like I've seen her in this before. I'm not crazy about the wig. I mean, I love the color red. Um, the judges really love this, but I, maybe with a different wig, maybe I would have liked it more, but I mean, it's a pageant gown. 
it's a very like Bob the Drag Queen said, it's a very well constructed pageant gown. But it, at the end of the day, it's a very safe, very pretty pageant gown. Um, her performance in the song, I feel like she could have wrote better lyrics. Um, because her lyrics in the Remember the Girl Group Challenge were very, very good. This time I feel like she was lazy. I don't know what that was that she gave, but she didn't give it. She didn't bring it. Um, it was just okay. Because I know she could have done more. Because we've seen her do more. Next we have Morphine Love Dion. I like this, but baby, I wish you would have cinched the waist more. Um... I like it, but it's just, <sighs> there needed to be a corset or extra padding. These girls who go out and get this work done feel like they can come and just give body without padding, without cinching, without corsets. Baby, look y'all, you're still a dude. You're still a man. You need, and look, I know women come in all shapes and sizes and everything, but if this is female impersonation, for the most part, drag, right? Baby, cinch. And I think this would have been way more sickening. But I love the purple. It looks great on her. Of course, the face looks good. I love the hat. Her performance, though, Morphine, I feel like was she was trying so, 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 so hard. It was good. It was, it was so good. But... In comparison to the other girls, I think that's what made it seem so good. She really gave 100%. It was good, but because most of the other girls were just so weak. Y'all get what I'm saying? Nymphia Wind. You know, like a lot of people are saying, why is it that she's getting away with murder? I, most of the time on Drag Race, the judges will call the girls out and say, you can't keep doing this. We want some variety. Demphia has done bananas almost every episode. This is episode 10. And this girl came out here in a, a, in a very beautiful banana outfit. But it's very similar to her entrance look. It's very similar to... Um, a lot of the other banana looks that she has done. I get that that is her brand, yellow banana. Like, I get it. And the, the execution is very well done. And I guess when it's just that well done, when it's that beautiful, I guess you can get away with doing the same theme over and over and over. Um, unpopular opinion. I loved her in the song. I feel like she was very true to her. I feel like she made it work. I feel like she wasn't trying to be um, something else. I feel like she wasn't trying to be something that fit into the funk genre per se. But she embodied um, the essence of funk without uh, neglecting who she is as an artist, as a drag queen. And a lot of people were like, well, her verse was real. She didn't have a lot of words. It was only a few words. But... It's not about how many words you put in. It's about the delivery of the words that you have, of the words that you gave. And I feel like she performed. I liked it. It wasn't, she wasn't trying too hard. You know, you know how sometimes you try too hard. You like, girl, okay, come, you, you trying too hard. I feel like it was her. I liked it. It was believable. I, I, I liked, I enjoyed it. Next, we have Plain Jane. Um... I don't know how I feel about this look. Uh, the makeup and the hair, very cute. The dress, I don't know. Like some some angles, I really loved it. This picture is not very flattering, if I must be honest. Which I, I think this is a perfectly fine look, but I think it just needed um, a little bit of tweaking, and it really could have been stellar. Um, her performance in the song, her lyrics, fine. The performance, fine. Fine. I wasn't blown away. I wasn't disappointed. Q, this hat. The hat. That's all I gotta say. The hat. I don't care about none of this. The hat, okay? Q came on this runway and said, baby, it's raining hat, okay? As far as Q's performance in the thing, we know Q can't dance, but I like the energy that Q brought you know, the, the lyrics might have been meh. Everybody, most of everybody else's lyrics were meh. 
But I like the commitment she gave. She can't dance, but she brought Q to the performance. And I can appreciate that. Then we get to Safira. Look at this. You know, this is very camp. This is very, um, it's very Safira. It's very well done. It's very well made. Um, it's very similar to her talent show look. No, um, it, it's 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 a it's a great look. I don't know if I was as crazy about it as the judges were, but I do love it. It's very it's very pretty. And then her performance in the show, of course, she did the best. Like, what did you expect from someone who did James Brown in the Snatch Game? Like, of course, it was going to be stellar. Of course, it was going to give um, her performance. And then plus, look at the competition. She kind of blew the girls out of the water. Let's just let's just be honest. Um, it was very athletic. The lyrics were, were really on par. I don't know how I felt about that high note thing that she did, but it was it was camp. And Safira does camp sometimes. So um she was the most fitting of this genre. And I was like, okay, this is the clear winner. So when it's time for critiques, all the girls get critiqued and they ask Plain Jane one last time because this is the final week that she can use her potion. They ask her, baby, are you going to use the potion or not? Last chance. And Plain Jane shockingly was like, yes, I'm going to use it, but I'm going to give it to Nymphia. I, I was kind of shocked. Like as the episode went on, I was kind of like, okay, maybe she might actually give it away. But, uh, but for weeks, I was like, She's either not going to use it at all, or she's not going to give it to anybody. But she gave it to Nymphia, and, Nymph and Nymphia begged and begged and begged, and I guess all that begging paid off. But, you know, it was kind of a waste because nobody went home. So what they did was they started, started calling the girls. They started calling the girls, and you get down to Safira and Morphine, and you're like, okay, clearly nobody's going home because... We know for sure these were the top two. So nobody went home this episode. So it was the, the potion was kind of a throwaway, I guess. I mean, maybe someone would have went home if Plain Jane didn't use the potion. But like, you know, nobody went home. And what we ended up having was, was a lip sync for the win. So the top two lip sync, RuPaul flipped it up and did like an all-stars thing. Because, you know, in all-stars, they lip sync for the win instead of lip syncing to stay and not go home. So, Morphine and Sapphire lip sync to Megan Trainer's I Made You Look. Bum, 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 bum. I love Megan Trainer. Let me tell you something. Off topic, I love Megan Trainer. There is not a song that Megan Trainer has put out that I don't like. I like her. And she's just such a down to earth, like, like, she's such a, like, whatever, like, she's just so cool. Like, I. Like, I love her. Like, I really do. And sometimes I forget how much I love her. But, like, anytime her songs come on, I never skip. And then there's times, like, I'm like, I need to listen to Megan Trainer. She's just positive. She gives me what I need. Like, I just, I, I, I just love Megan Trainer. Anyway, so that was the lip sync song. And both girls did really good. They really, really did. Um, but I think, but Safira. But Sophia ended up winning the lip sync, and so she won for the week. So yay, congratulations, Sophia. Nobody went home. So this week's episode was pretty cute. I think people were kind of moved to go vote. I think the genre kind of threw most of the girls off. But you know what? Still, at this point, I still don't see a clear winner. I mean, I think it's going to come down to uh, Sophia and I, I guess... Probably in plain Jane, those seem like the top two for me. Nymphia, um, could I could see her coming in and swooping in, but right now I think Sophia is probably going to be the one to win as of right now. This season feels different from you know past seasons, so as far as usually by now, at least you could be able to tell who's a clear winner, but. Who knows? So that's it for this week's episode of Drag Race and Nellyville Reviews. Drag Race 16, episode 10. I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye!